What's going on guys, P. Will back here for another video. In this video, we are talking about how to prepare to be a 35 Fox. Maybe you're in high school, maybe you're in college, maybe you're in the workforce and you wanna prepare, build on your career. Uh, maybe your degree isn't working out for you, so you wanna pair your degree with intelligence work and maybe build your career. Whatever the case may be, I'm gonna give you some foundational, very simple tips to help you prepare before you go to 35 Fox training. A little disclaimer, all of this is unclassified just in, before anybody gets upset. Everything I'm gonna talk about here is unclassified and this is not going to make you an expert or you know this could this is just little things you could work on that will make your transition through schooling and everything and get to your first unit if you're comfortable and knowledgeable on these things these are things that will help you be successful as a 35 fox in the long run but this video is just if you want to get a little bit of a head start before you uh, report to the schoolhouse at Wachuca. first thing you're going to want to do that i recommend preparing for the 35 Fox course at Fort Huachuca is going on Google and typing in ADP 2-0. This is an intelligence book that you're going to use in the schoolhouse. It's completely unclassified. You can go on Google right now, type it in and pull it up. It's gonna be in PDF format. You can download it, you can print it off. I would just recommend downloading it and going through it. But if you read this, it'll give you a foundational concept of what you're gonna be working with in the schoolhouse. Now, I don't. it's not gonna make you an expert in anything. It's just gonna give you an kind of a broad broad overview of everything that you're going to be doing in the schoolhouse. But if you familiarize yourself with that now, people when they first get there, they're lost in the sauce just because they've never been familiarized with this content that you're learning. It's all brand new. You, you have no experience with it. If you've just got a foundational experience, uh, you can read this cover to cover if you want to. Uh, it's not necessary. But uh, if you do, it's going to give you a, a step ahead. The second thing that you can do to help yourself be better prepared for the 35 Fox course is uh, getting into public speaking. Now, I know like if you're in college and you're of age, you can go to Toastmasters, like just local meetups that they do at pubs and stuff where the people, you know, practice toast. Go into like, I know a lot, a few people I know that went the AIT with, they uh, they did poetry. They would get up and read poetry in front of people. Uh, the Probably the easiest thing you can do if you're in high school or college, enroll into a public speaking course or a drama class because in a lot of those you're gonna do improv, you're gonna do stuff where you're up in front of people. Getting comfortable in front of a large group of people and practice your public speaking. I know a lot of people, myself included, I still struggle with this from time to time. You get nervous in front of people, which is good. Nervous means you care. But, but I know the nervousness makes a lot of people stutter and, and get out of breath. They're like, uh, uh, you know. So the best thing you can do, it, you don't have to enroll in a class if you can't. Just get somewhere uh, and try to talk in front of people. If you can get comfortable doing that, it will make your transition in the schoolhouse because you're going to have to brief in front of, you know, senior NCOs. Maybe they'll bring in an officer. I know some people have to brief in front of the general. So if you get comfortable speaking, comfortable in your own skin in front of people, that will make the transition into 35 Fox a lot better. Tip number three that will help you transition into the 35 Fox course is just applying yourself in your research writing English classes in high school or if you're in college. Uh, I know in a lot of uh, my high school classes, uh, spe specifically my literature class senior year, it was very uh, analysis driven, reading plays, reading books, and analyze, writing research papers and analyzing that. That will go a long way in helping you put your thoughts, like developing your thoughts, what you think, analyzing a piece of content, and then putting that into words on a piece of paper. Now the writing style that you're gonna learn in high school and drama, you can throw that out for the most part. It's not gonna help a lot, but it's gonna help develop your grammar. It's gonna help develop your vocabulary. And if you can get a step ahead on that and then practice taking what you think and putting it to clear and concise words in your typical high school class or your college class. Just pay attention and apply yourself in those courses and that will go a long way because you'd be surprised at how many people are behind the curve simply because they haven't been exposed to, they took maybe took lower level classes in high school or you know have no college experience and they have no way, uh, no experience taking the thoughts from what they've read and putting it onto a piece of paper. So if you can do that and make it clear and concise, that will go a long way into preparing you for the 35 Fox course. Tip number four is to just pay attention and apply yourself in your economics, your government, your political science classes in high school or college. Uh, just developing a wide base uh, and being knowledgeable in a little bit of everything when it comes to especially political science. I wish I would have paid more attention to my politics class in high school because you never know 
what you're gonna have to research for a product or what you need to be knowledgeable in. And it'll just save you that much more time in the research process of building a product, or it'll save you when you're in a conversation with a superior or just discussing with fellow analysts, uh, being knowledgeable in it, you don't have to research it and you can speak educated on the topic and you won't be as lost in the sauce and a bunch of random. You never know what kind of conversations you're gonna find yourself in when you're a 35 Fox. So just developing a wide base of knowledge in politics, economics, uh, political science, stuff like that, uh, will help you a long way. Now it's not necessary, uh, you can research it to build the product. People aren't gonna expect you to know everything, but if you already have that knowledge base, it will set you apart and it will help you better transition into the 35 Fox course. And last but not least, tip number five, books and podcasts. Now this plays along in the same realm, just developing a wide knowledge base, being educated, that helps you uh, educate others, your chain of command uh, on topics. If you're more educated, then you are a better analyst. Uh, a, a book I recommend, there's so many books out there. There's The Generals, uh, I forget who it's by, but you've got uh, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. That's a great read, kind of dry, but it's still a good read. A podcast, I really wanna shout out, not shout out because it's way bigger than I am, but mention a podcast that I really enjoy. It's called the Army Mad Scientist Podcast, Army Mad Scientist Initiative. It's by a, it's a sponsored podcast by the Army. He sends out an email chain that is great for analysts or future analysts to read, but the podcast is great itself. He recently just had a 35 Fox on there not too long ago that talked you know, a lot about analysis and the future of warfare and the role of the intelligence warfighting function in future warfare. It's a very good podcast. I definitely recommend listening to it. Uh, he was an intelligence analyst. I think he's been out of the army for about 10 years now, but he, he, he was a 35 Fox for 10 years, the guest he had on. But he has a bunch of different people on talking about AI in the, the, in the battlefield. And just, a, it's a wide array of stuff that kind of pertains to intelligence or directly pertains Change to intelligence, but it's a great way to just build your knowledge base on a bunch of different subject matter areas. And all you got to do is go into Apple Podcasts and subscribe. And uh, I think it's like a weekly podcast. It's a great podcast. I definitely recommend you listen to it. But there are a bunch of great podcasts out there. Jocko Willink, obviously. Uh, Marcus Luttrell has a great podcast that's just kind of motivational, but it's military focused. Just developing a wide array of knowledge and reading. Reading is great anyway, but you definitely need to be kind of a book nerd. You don't have to be, but it would definitely make you a better analyst if you have a you know a wide vocabulary and a lot of knowledge on a bunch of different things 35 foxes are kind of the experts uh, in nothing but knowledgeable and everything that's it that's in theory what a fox is supposed to be you've got your single source people that are smart and they're one subject matter expert but Getting a wide array of knowledge will help you transition into the 35 Fox course and be a better 35 Fox. All right, guys, that is the video. That are five tips to help you transition, kind of make the 35 Fox co course easier. And if it doesn't help the course, it will help you in your career when you are actually a 35 Fox. So I hope the video helped you out. I know I've had a lot of people ask me if I can give some more tips on 35 Fox. And it's hard because obviously my job, I can't talk to you a lot about the day-to-day -day exactly what I do for obvious operational security concerns. But all the unclass stuff I can tell you, I will tell you uh, to help you future analysts out there become a better 35 Fox. So hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.